I can't hear you guys. Uh, streams again. Excellent. All right, we'll go with that. I'm assuming you can hear me because I can't hear you. So uh, is this, we're at Goofy Golf. And uh, we're ripping the Band-Aid off slowly. And when I say we, I'm talking about me and my little girl here. And we are enjoying life once again, getting out here and living our best lives. I've got my, my girl down here taking some practice shots on the snake's mouth, the iconic snake's mouth here at Goofy Golf, Fort Walton Beach, Florida, out here living our best lives. I'd answer questions for you guys, but I, it's live TV and I can't even hear myself right now. So let alone you guys. I'm playing golf. That was fantastic. Hey, just, just Garrett bring him Stern's on. Just bring him be on. On live on the show here. Yeah, right on now. take two. Of What's up, Emerald Coast? <laughs> <laughs> we had a we had a studio configuration change yesterday. And uh, I totally messed up on the audio. I had I had swapped them out and didn't forgot I had done. We're that. still so hiring we, a tech so from did some the high school. 20 minutes or plus with no audio and people are shouting on yeah. Facebook live. So, Hey, I'm RJ guy, the no audio on the show guy. <sighs> I'm Chris. I'm, I'm out my, of coffee. That's my job. I'm responsible for audio and I did not get the audio going, but I'll tell you what, we're just going to redo the show again. And we got Gareth. There's Gareth. Board, so Hi, how was your golf here. game today? <laughs> well, he can't, he, he can now hear he us can. now, but at least, um, let's bring him on. Let's bring him on. <laughs> All right. So without need some further comic ado, relief. Hi, right, you want to try hey, again? We got Gareth, our local guy, is live from the Goofy Golf apparently. So, what was your score on that? What was, what was? That's the way to go to Goofy Golf. That's the way you do Goofy Golf is with a bucket of balls. You're like, they don't have a driving range out there. What are you doing? <laughs> I don't know. Every now and then, you know, I, I don't, I don't get. I don't really don't make a living off of my local nerd stuff that I do. So every now and then you got to use what little clout that you have <laughs> to play around the golf in the iconic miniature golf land known as Goofy Golf. Yeah. So Good it's morning, my understanding everybody. that yeah, your, your kids are in town this week and you've been basically checking out all the, all, all the attractions as they've reopened up again. I have been playing two roles, the role of Super Dad, one, and the role of tourists, too. My kids yes. are in town for a few days, and, and we're doing all the iconic things. I think this is the fourth time we've been to Goofy Golf. We did Wild Willie's Adventure Zone the other night. They did golf, the Golfarium yesterday. They've gone parasailing. They've done all <laughs> the fun things that, that tourists do out here in the Emerald Coast, and we're out here living our best lives, and we, we wish that uh, you all were too and would have yeah <laughs> yeah I would have been out there but we have to redo the show because my <laughs> yeah in my nerd life I have to trust RJ to turn the button on for sound and uh, well, but, but yeah. thanks I, we really enjoy yeah. yeah the pose earlier the pose was earlier, great we've was got awesome. that as a screenshot for you uh, oh, for excellent. later perfect. yes that is the okay, perfect now, now freeze right there that's gonna be our thumbnail for, yeah that for, is gonna uh, represent gonna please represent keep thumbnail. off the walls. <laughs> <laughs> There's the superstar. <laughs> I can only imagine the other people playing around you going, what the hell is going on? <laughs> I, well, they're right there. They're probably used to it by now. I don't know. I just kind of show up on the Goofy Golf property and they hand me a bucket of balls these days and just tell me to make them look good, basically. So that's what I do. Hey, you know, it's, it's fun. <laughs> I've never you know, seen fun anybody. about this hole right here. This hole right here, if you look on the scorecards, it's called the Vanguard. Uh -huh, and uh -huh. the, the reason it's called the Vanguard is it has tie. Let me see. It has ties to the old uh, Vanguard missile. When this course was built in 1958, the Vanguard missile testing was going on. So this yeah, I guess it does look exist. like a missile. This head did not exist. This head was added on in the mid 70s. It was just the the conical shape with the top here, and it was, and that's why on the scorecard today it's still called the Vanguard, but it has nothing to do with the tribal figure we have here. That's just one of the many fun facts to be found here at Goofy Golf. <laughs> that is, uh, that's actually amazing that you know those details about the Goofy Golf right. uh, in Fort Walton. That's All right, fantastic. well, I wonder how many, pe how many of our watchers and viewers actually know the dinosaur, what the name of the dinosaur is over there? I have no idea. Yeah, what? well, let's just see if they have, anybody will comment on that. In the meantime, speaking of comment, uh, your mom basically. Yeah, uh, I know. Thanks, mom. That we should yeah. uh, learn to, you know, if we do a show mom. without smart audio. Ass. Yeah. <laughs> Where do you think I get my smart ass from, RJ? Right well, there. That's <laughs> Thanks, that's mom. Over, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, mom. So. Yeah. You got to remember, I'm over here going, RJ, 
Checklist, checklist, checklist. But and that's all I, good. I, you know, I put my checklist down because we had it all down. So, but, uh, Gareth, give us a little idea as you were out uh, doing uh, uh, Wild Willies over at uh, Craig's Place and uh, out parasailing. How, I mean, were you doing that in the middle of the week? How's business look and uh, how are things going in the middle of uh, Destin, the tourist world? Maybe. What's your assess? You're our resident um, business update. How is it going over there? I tell you what, man, things are rocking and rolling out in Destin and uh, on Crab Island. As a local, it's I, I'm I'm on one hand very happy to see it, and on the other hand, uh, only planning to do things on weekdays. Okay. I have no desire to get out there on the weekends. It's completely yeah, busy. Uh, for the most part, fun. people are being parking. responsible with their social distancing, but you know, at the same time, people are here to to let loose. And yeah. have a good time, and they've been cooped up for so long, so it stands to reason there's going to be a few bad apples in the bunch. But hopefully, they don't spoil everything for the rest of us. Right. So when you were at Wild Willies, did you do the uh, the rope climbing uh, thing over there with your kids? Did you get a chance to do that? My my kids did it. Yes. My my littlest was not uh, tall enough, so we got to watch from the sidelines, and she got extra video game time. So there you go. That's a beautiful establishment. That's uh, you know we should always be out there supporting our local vendors and. And, you know, the tourists love it, so why not get out there and experience what they love to do as well? It's right, right. here. We live where they vacation. Now, I also told that you uh, had a chance to go over to the golf area. How's things going? How are they doing over there with all this reopening? <clears throat> oh, man, it's it's beautiful to see. You know, it's it was a hot one, I'll tell you that. But yeah. uh, it, it, if you're looking for a, a quiet, fun-filled, creative afternoon with the kids that I can think of no better starting point than the golf area on Okaloosa Island. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, you just can't go wrong with it. You know, that show there goes on. That, that show goes on no matter what the weather is because they have to do the same routine with those dolphins. So it's amazing what they do. That show is uh, so precise and they do a fantastic... One of the oldest uh, dolphin shows in Florida. Yeah. Right there at our golf area. So this is true. Well, man, you've been uh, you've been very patient and great, and uh, I, I guess you're only uh, if if we stick with the theme of the post pandemic world, the only difficulty you really had was with your bank. So I'm glad you made it out of there. <laughs> Don't even get me started with it. Don't even get me started. <laughs> I had to, we'll save that one for another show. <laughs> I had to throw that in at you because I can just feel your pain. <laughs> Blame it on the virus, my friend. Blame it on the virus. All right. Well, I haven't. We had nobody shout in for the name of the dinosaur. That's, uh, at My mom Golf. is looking it up right now, I yeah. guarantee you. But I'm sure Gareth knows. Gareth, what is the name of that dinosaur? <laughs> Thanks a lot, Steve, for your bringing uh, there. I'll give you a clue. It's got the word of something we enjoy on Easter in it. Yeah, and it's also very something good with enjoy for with Easter eggs. dinner. Oh, I was going to go with Peeps, but I guess not. So, it's, uh... Oh, okay. <laughs> it's Ham. Hammy. Hammy, Hammy the dinosaur. Hammy the dinosaur. dinosaur. There he is. Which uh, actually had, uh, I mean, it was originally there in 1958 when it got started. Right. But it had, like, disintegrated and fell apart. But somebody, uh, some of the locals got together and re rebuilt, rebuilt it, it for the 50th anniversary in 2008. So, oh, there he is. There's there you the go. live view of Hammy. Hammy the dinosaur, the iconic figure along Eglin Parkway. Yeah. It's well, there the, we go. One of the few, this is one of the few remaining attractions from, uh, you know, and, if people are not aware of it, Gareth actually has a Facebook page called the um, Fort Walton Beach, what we did. And it's not just necessarily Fort Walton Beach, it's the entire area. And people are posting pictures and uh, things that they find in their scrapbooks, old clips, old film clips, right? Uh, old art, newspaper articles. Um, like, I think, the, remember the Green Knight and Destin? That was, again, like an iconic figure. That's right. That's right. Uh, what, are, what are some of the other things that people possibly could find? on uh, Fort Walton Beach, what we did, Facebook page. You know what? We have sort of created something that didn't exist beforehand. It's kind of become this online repository of everything that you couldn't search for previously. So honestly, you could go to the site and search for pretty much anything and get a picture of it, or if not a picture, some sort of comment thread full of memories and it, there really just isn't anything like it. Google Google doesn't help you there. Our own personal city libraries don't help us there. You go to you go to the site and you type in Showtown USA Drive-In. You type in Hammy the Dinosaur. You type in Robinson's Cruise Through, and it's going to pop up multiple yeah. times. When I had to do, a, I was doing a, a, a uh, informational video about the, the town of Shalimar, and, and back before we got started and all that, 
that that web uh, Facebook page was my main source. And if I was looking for something or like a particular candidate for <laughs> sheriff in 1970, I would just post the question on there, and I got the answer because you know right. there's just a lot. Of, you have how many how many followers followers do you have on that site? We're currently sitting at 21,484 members of the Facebook page, with give or take uh, one or two there. And how many of those can read lips and be able to see the first part of the show? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh my don't God. worry, guys. I will be sharing this video in there. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to splice it's too late. It. I already did. Yeah, there you go. Well, buddy, thank you for uh, being patient and uh, getting your time in with your family. And uh, it's just a great thing to see you out there. There you go. That's what it's all about right there. What's yeah, her name? That's a, that's a, that's a beautiful. Her name's Evelyn. Right Hi, she's, Evelyn. She's Welcome smiled. to the show. Welcome Come to What's on. Up, Emerald Co. There you go. And that's what it's all about. <laughs> that's that's what that's what post pandemic life is about. Get back out there and doing the fun stuff of Fort Walton Beach and Destin. Yeah. So absolutely. Yeah. Thanks, Gareth. I Thanks appreciate so much it, buddy. for inviting me on your show, guys. All right, appreciate man. it. Bye bye. Take care. Well, I'm finally glad we got our audio going, so we can actually <laughs> talk to him. That should have been my first clue. Like he can't oh, hear us. Well, I can't my. hear. Yes. And I'm looking, everything's turned on, but then Keep I Keep coming back. It gets yeah, better. Coming back. So uh, should we just take things from the top of the show again? Are we doing them again? Uh, doing him again? No, I said, are we doing them? Yeah, we're gonna, I'm just going to trim this show. Nobody will ever see the first half Okay, of fair it. enough. So fair that's enough. That, the magic of trimming yeah. on Facebook. Okay, so we're going to do our shameless plug right now at the moment. Uh, if you're watching us <laughs> with audio... We are live right now on the Emerald Coast TV Facebook page, but we're also live on YouTube, Roku, and Amazon Fire. I think we lost those audiences way ago. <laughs> and uh, yeah, as thanks, well as that, we thanks, also Noel. Yeah. yeah, I'm seeing, and, I'm seeing uh, the comments. Keep you, coming back. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you got and it, girl. We do follow the comments on the uh, Emerald Coast TV uh, live page when we're going live. So if you've got something interesting, or you're going to rant or something like that, or you just want to tell us our sound's not working, sound we had lots of comments. About yeah. sound yeah. So, uh, unfortunately it took too long to read it yeah uh and then also we do have a uh what's up emerald coast facebook page so if you got an opportunity to go ahead and like that we have 34 people now our uh Woo! our one thousandth person we went, we went beyond we'll get a free pizza oh there you go there you go we got a one thousand that gives me likes. time to get my oven ready <laughs> <laughs> uh and uh of course there's one of your favorite places yep uh, and that's going to be a busy place this weekend. There is a new fire station going in. That's fantastic. And there's no parking there at the top of the bridge right there. There is let's no parking can, along can, that uh, side anymore to let everybody so know. So there's, there's, there's our live view. We found a live cam on top of the Emerald Grand. Thank you for old98.com uh, for giving us that live view. So that was kind of cool. Uh, and then what else do we got? Oh, we got some national days we can try to go over again. Okay. One of them I might need. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we're uh, taking our, our national day from the nationaldaycalendar.com website. And then one of the things that we talked about earlier, it's National Cheese Day. Yeah, the show took so long, I'm now at lunchtime and now yeah, hungry. I'm, I'm hungry. I'm looking at cheese. <laughs> I'm now hungry. I'm thinking, well, okay. Followed by, followed by, I still don't get clean beauty day. Clean beauty day. No, uh, that could go anywhere from uh, no. keeping chemicals out of no. things. To, I think that's just the marketing ploy. Yeah, but by who? I have, I no, have no idea. idea. Uh, oh, but you know, it may not be wine, but might I might need that I think for lunch. Cognac is actually a distilled wine, and it kind of goes with cheese then. Probably. That's right. There There's, we go. There are, I'm sure there is probably a cheese that goes with <coughs> cognac. There's cheese that goes with everything. I have to ask my French. Uh, cheese goes with everything. And, uh, okay, this is not in a derogatory yeah, national old Yeah, it's a good thing you day. prefaced that. It's actually, I mean, it used to be basically to kind of celebrate Spencer's. Raise because actually your hand if you're celebrating. Their life and they've decided they did not want to get married or have kids. They wanted to follow a career. No. So if you're a career-minded woman, today is your day. Don't worry. We're not If you're a career-minded your, woman, are you yeah. going to be allowed to be called old maid? Yeah, I, I mean, I don't think... I don't Who, think raise your hand if you want to be, say, hey, I'm is, celebrating Old Maid's Day. Somebody actually decided to say, hey, we should have an Old Maid's Day. I think that's something from like the I'm 1900s sure. Unless, that of course, just carried they over. were an Old Maid, and they're happy and proud of it. So I I'm, think, I'm assuming so. I think Google went awry. And then we kind of mentioned this before. The National Safe Day, you would think it just means like try to stay safe, my friends. But actually, it's one in three homeowners may have, have guns in their homes, and they're encouraging you to make sure that they are secure 
and out of the hands of kids. And so. that logo is great. A tree. And, and the logo has absolutely nothing to do. Butterflies. I mean, if, that, if that was a rifle with butterflies flying around it, then I can understand. But, no. So, <laughs> so uh, um, let's see. What else we got going on? Well, we got a couple of things on the, the paper that we could talk about. Uh, we kind of mentioned before that... Um, Get your it, son in today. Get your son. It's going to be pretty much kind of an overcast weekend. weekend Mostly be, cloudy. You know, be high chance of rainbow. Weekend. Exactly. Tough surf. Rip and, tides. And, and super hot and, and muggy. Why is there always rainbows? Dorn, dorn, I'm just saying right now because you're going to have a lot of moisture in the air. Moisture in the air. A lot of clouds that are going to be created around it. And the Florida sun. And I'm just telling you, uh, you know, if you've lived here long enough in the Destin Dome, that this we had a beautiful rainbow this morning. Oh, I missed it. We'll see. There you go. I'm already one for one on my you, prediction. You are so one for one. It was a fantastic rainbow this morning, and um, there you go. There's my weather report. <laughs> There's your weather report. Uh, hey, Florida's getting into phase two of yeah. reopening here. So that means that the, the bars are opening up, inside bars. For Theme parks are opening up. 50% capacity, outdoors full, 100%. Movie theaters at 50%, but I don't know. That's going to be... Really spaced out. <clears throat> yeah. So, uh, but uh, there, I don't think there's really any major I think the blockbusters movie, scheduled for right now. I think anyway. movie theaters are going to struggle more than uh, right. most. More than yeah. anybody wants to say. And then, uh, oh, Universal Studios actually was the first theme park to actually put a, a plan through to the to the, the governor yeah. uh, for their safety procedures. And they are opening up tomorrow. So if you're looking for... Uh, so uh, when you the, really want to get away... When the roller coasters pull in, I want to see these... Uh, Safety precautions. I yeah. mean, if some kid gets tasked with wiping it down, because they never did before, you know? No, but uh, I mean, I was noticing this in Biloxi when I was there on, on last Sunday, but that they had people running around, I mean, rolling around with a cart and just wiping things everything down, down. And the chairs and, and everything. Yeah. So, okay. I, it's just, I think, I think we've increased employment possibilities. <laughs> you could be an official. Yeah, what do you do? I'm a sanitizer. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a COVID-19 prevention person. There you go. Yeah, there we okay, go. Okay, fair enough. I'll so, give you that. But, you know, um, you know uh, see, they're, they're opening tomorrow. That's Universal. Uh, next week, I believe, or the 15th, by the 15th, is SeaWorld. And then uh, Disney's planning on doing a phase opening of their different parks around July 15th. But July, July is also the tiny same time. You know, you that, realize you're, you're promoting competition to Destin. To Destin. So, yeah, let's not talk about the park anymore. Well, you know, I think, I think everybody needs a little no. Disney World every once in a while. But... Yeah, in the at the fall. Disney World facilities <laughs> is the, the ESPN Worldwide of Sports, and that's where the NBA is actually has just presented a plan uh, to be able to, to restart the, the, the season, uh, the NBA season, with uh, 22 team schedule all being played at the ESPN Worldwide of Sports in Disney. So maybe an opportunity in July and August, and I think that's going to start in the later part of July. August might be a good time to go visit, even though it's hot, yeah. very hot. But also, speaking of sports, we do have our uh, local uh, school, Okaloosa County School District, have finally approved the plan for summer activities, including the football camps, uh, marching bands. We're start phase one is actually starting on Monday, uh, and that's going to be uh, an opportunity for the, uh, the outdoor <clears throat> activities. To start They're young, there. and they'll be in the sun, right. so at least so, uh, that we got that going for them. They got that going for them. So um, I don't really have anything else to, to talk about. And, nope. um we did it. We, we did, did twice. It. Except for uh, for all those who stayed with us. Anybody who's going to rewatch this is not going to know that we had no audio for the first. Oh, they're going to know. The uh, they're going to tell oh, me just, after the show. I just gave it away. Yeah, they're going to so. tell me after the show. <laughs> so trust me. Uh, we appreciate any of those who hung on. So uh, tomorrow you're at the one? chamber. We're going to be at the chamber of okay. Congress tomorrow. Uh, we may have an opportunity to go ahead and also interview uh, the, the the first CEO, person that Ed comes Gordon. on tomorrow's show with a comment and says, "RJ, check the audio." audio. <laughs> Pizza's on me. Pizza's on. Stay me. rational, my friends. Yes. Have a good one. Stay safe. Have fun. <laughs> Mm-hmm.